She runs right. What? She said that you were the kind that always waits for the girl to make the first move. So what's that supposed to mean? Well, it's true. It just worked for me. Well, great. Well, maybe it just worked for me, too. Why? That I passed or failed your little test. I don't know. So, um, I heard you were thinking about quitting football? So? So it's true. What? So now you're gonna lecture me about how I'm fucking up, you know, doing the wrong thing? Not at I'm all. I'm stupid for banging my head against the wall Not all next fall. What? Not what? at all. God, don't put me in that category, man. I mean, it's your life. I know, I know. See, that's what most people seem to be forgetting these days. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think you'll be fine in whatever you do. I mean, you get along with anyone. You're like a chameleon, you know? You must have been a chameleon in your past life. <laughs> but, you know, if you had to pick, like, how would you say you see yourself? More like a jock or like a stoner or, you know, like a smart poker group kind of guy? Why? I mean, what is this? Let's analyze Randy, Randy session. Pick your favorite pigeonhole. I don't, I don't even think like that. I mean, I just, you know, I don't care. I'm just, hey, I'm just trying to get by, okay? As painlessly as possible. You don't have to get defensive. And if you really wanted to get by as painlessly as possible, you would sign that paper for the country because you're going to go through hell. Fuck them! Bring it on, man. I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you get in that tough guy mode. Oh, okay. Well, good. So cute. Good, I like that. So, um... Are you having a new girlfriend or something? What's her name? Letitia? What girlfriend? She's here, you know. She's here? Huh? What? I haven't seen her. Hey, she's not my girlfriend anyway. I mean, you know, I don't really have a girlfriend, like, officially speaking. Hmm. Well, who do you go out with? I don't know. Why? Why are you even at? I mean, whatever, you know? It's casual. Here, there. Hmm. So I guess then... In relation to me, that would mean right now I'm here, and I'll be there as soon as I'm out of your okay, sight. Okay, yeah, okay, right. whatever. <laughs> what? Well, we're so what do you goddamn want? cute. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear about that? What do you want to hear? Thank your parents. Thank your parents for being here. <laughs> <laughs> so what, we're still going Saturday Night Live? Uh, Tomorrow we're going to watch that? I'm out of here. I'm getting a beer. Can you like my joint? Nope. It's mine. <laughs> Dude, man, I heard, uh, I heard Nugent was playing in, uh, fucking Miami, or was, was it San Francisco? It doesn't matter, man. And this fucking girl gets up on stage, man, starts fucking blowing a man on stage, dude. No way! Dude, I'm telling you, man. Um, wow. and you know what, man? In, uh, in, uh, in New Orleans, man, fucking, uh, bottom, one hour fucking drum solo, man. An hour, wow. dude. Cool. I'm telling you, man, just take it from there. I'm telling you, man, I can't wait to get to college. I'm gonna stay getting it. <laughs> really, man, Walker said, they got these, uh, they got, they sitting in their dorm rooms, man, they got this list of girls. They just call up, man, and they just come over and fuck, man. No that, way. Just, they just call, come over. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, Adam Goldberg. <clears throat> if you can get to that point where you're not only not afraid of death, but actually embracing it, then there's no longer any bad. I mean, everything goes beyond judgment, good, evil, right, wrong. That's all bullshit. From your perspective, mate. But certainly, you're, I mean, you're not implying that that's valid thinking, like, for everyone. Well, I'm not everyone, and of course my perspective. I mean, for better or worse, it's the only one I've got. <laughs> so, I mean, if there's no absolute morality, judgment, or anything else, I mean... What? You're saying, like, would you push the button that would start the global, thermal, nuclear global apocalypse? <laughs> I mean, would you do that if you could? Uh, I don't know. Sort of depends on my mood at the time. <laughs> oh, great. Well, let's just say we're, we're thankful that the button to the nuclear holocaust is in the hands of politicians worried about re-election and not someone like you going through an existential crisis. Yeah, whatever. Look, me and my existential crisis are going to take a walk around later much. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right. Yes. 
You know what? I've been starting after after right, second. Is that all right? You want to start with? I'm going to get that. Yeah. Is that all right? Sure. Is that okay? Okay. In your <coughs> piece, I'll just do my one line. Mm. I'm going to get that guy. What guy? That asshole on the way in, Clint, the super dominant male. I wouldn't suggest that. Okay, get it all planned out. Most fights at places like this never get past a punch or two before they're broken up, right? I mean, there's this almost natural urge not to upset the herd, right? So all I gotta do is get in one good punch, play defense, and wait. Why are you even thinking like this? <sighs> well, you mean, I, I, at first, I guess I was relieved to get out of the situation, you know? But now there's this, there's this level of humiliation setting in that I can tell is gonna be with me a long time. And I, I, I'm just not gonna let this be yet another experience that contributes to me being a little ineffectual nothing the rest of my life. I mean, I, I have the conscious ability to rebel against it. If nothing else, it'll set an example and a tone for my senior year. It's like when you go into prison, you know, they say you walk up to the baddest dude in the whole place and you punch him right in the nose, right in front of everyone. I mean, he might beat the crap out of you, but no one will ever fuck with you again because he wants to get punched in the face even one time. You just got to prove you're not one of those people who's afraid that... Oh, great. You're right. <sighs> <laughs> You know, that's the second group of those slant-eyed fucking bastards I've seen today. What the hell are they doing in my country? Well, maybe because our country had something to do with fucking up where they live. Oh, you know? shut up. And you can at least help out the ones that got away, I guess. Mm -hmm. No, wait. The side we were fighting for finally lost, right? No, but not while we were fighting with them. <laughs> hey, man. Everyone was bailing out, but hey, when they lost, we lost, okay? Man, what are you talking about? We never lost a war, buddy. Hey, when the communist troops swarmed into Saigon and everybody was running for their lives, Fuck. holding on to planes and pushing choppers into the sea and shit, it was all over, you know? I think it, you'd call it a defeat by any logical definition. Any logical definition. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you look at we might not have uh, you know uh, perfectly you know done this situation, but I think that we uh, I think we killed more than <laughs> than they killed of us. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'd say you're right. They probably killed a lot more. We killed a lot more than we did. Well, that's all I'm saying. So shh. Okay, hey, are you freshman wimps? Listen up. Have you guys ever heard of Fred O'Bannon? He was probably the baddest senior last year. I probably would have been the best senior and the toughest senior next year. But if you guys don't already know, he'll be coming back for another year as a senior. So we've all talked amongst ourselves, and I feel sorry for you. We've all decided that we're going to take it easy on you. Um, so, you know, uh, if you wait for us after school today, you guys all get your one lick and you can go home, you know, happy campers. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Mitch Care, we're looking for you. You're not going to get away. Your ass will be purple for the day is over. End of discussion. Roland. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question. I heard you got busted. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was a... They just got added to you? Oh, really? How bad? Bad. Damn. <laughs> so, like, what are you guys been doing? Just driving around mostly. Yeah. I didn't know it's Jody. That's your big sister. Oh, no, I did, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's all for cool. Hey, do you remember me? And only if this afternoon's offer still stands. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Uh, anything you want. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Either Tony interpretation on anything you want. It's up to you. <laughs> Be ready for anything. Okay. So, uh, okay, Roland. Remember me? Only if this afternoon's offer still stands. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Uh, anything you want? That's what I want to hear. Do you know what time it is? 
no, don't tell me. It'll just ruin the rest of my night. Great. Hi, I'm Nick Cott. <clears throat> mm, smells like someone's talking a little reefer. Hey, hey, hang on a second. What'd you just say? Mm. What? Just now, man, when you walked past, what'd you say? About what? You said someone's talking some reefer? Um, I don't know, I might have said something about some smelling some marijuana or something. I, an observation? An observation? Well, who are you, man? Isaac fucking Newton? Well, guess what, genius? I'm the one smoking marijuana, motherfucker. You got a problem with that? No, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Well, then why'd you say that, Chief? You know, don't let your mouth write a check your butt can't cash, Holmes. So I'm fucking blazing with my friends, man. So I'm a fucking pothead. What's it to you, dude? Huh? It's, it's nothing. Huh? Hey, what's the no matter, Dizzy? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. What's the matter, dude? Out of observation? Hey, 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 why don't you hey, hey, your fucking teeth no, hey, in your throat? Come on, man. It's all right. It's all right, man. He's okay. He's okay. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, man. You watch it, Newton. I'm only here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer, and I'm almost out of beer. <laughs> Jason London. Yeah, man, what I believe is because we don't have a significant rival high school within 30 miles of us. I mean, geez, even half the schools around here have some kind of crosstown school or that significant evil other in which one can take all their hostilities and blames on. Right, so it's like, you know, we've declared war on ourselves, you know. Yeah, exactly. Beating off our own. Yeah, yeah, but under the guise of an initiation ritual. Exactly. So, um, honestly, or was there a little unspoken thing going on there with you in that young thing? You, you stuff. Well, you know how it is sometimes. Yeah, she's pretty Actually, I bet she's pretty cute once you clean all that shit off her. You know, it's finally happening. You know, we're seniors. It's like, now there'll be all kinds of girls, all these freshmen who think we're the coolest just due to our, you know, the virtue of our age and our newfound you know, senior status. Yeah, I, I guess it's uh, some sort of compensation for all those years of torturous neglect. I mean, you have to admit it, despite some of our other accomplishments, we haven't fared too well in the female category. Yeah, and it's pretty tough when you never want to leave, you know, put yourself in a position of maybe something happening, you know. Maybe if you ever left the poker table, yeah, yeah. you know. See, that's why we got to go out tonight, you know. Who knows? You might experience something just a little more tangible than the Abraham Lincoln dream. Oh, I got your Abraham Lincoln dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? That's good work, Anything? huh? See this. Are, are we rolling? We're rolling. Cool. Hi, I'm Tina Martin. I would say you could have that ice cream bar. Are you sure? All right. The phone rings. I'll get it. The phone rings. You have to say she can't tell. Bling. Bling. <laughs> Bling. Hello. Oh, hi, Jude. No, I just thought it was going to be one of the many men that haven't called me tonight. Nothing. What are you doing? Yeah? Oh, shit. I forgot about the biology final. No way. That's right. You're studying shit. Listen, there's got to be a way we can get the answers. Yeah, I know we can. Hey, you know what? New Kay's brother, he had Mr. Uptgrove for biology last year. So call Kay and ask her older brother if he still has the answer to the test. Yeah, and do me a favor. Tell him that I said so. Yeah. Yeah, well, if he doesn't call me soon, I'm gonna have to do drastic things. Yeah, all right. Well, call me right back, call me back. All right, later. Ring. Hello. Hold on. Mom! <laughs> it's for you. You mentioned that. Click. Click. I'm glad you remind me. <laughs> oh, great. That was it's fun. Good. The weed leads you toward him. Well, I'm the top. Yeah. 
Hey man, whose car is this? You know Bobby? Hey man. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Say man, you got a joint? Um, no, not on me, Juan. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Ah, there's Pickford, that stoner. I know he's got some weed. Hey, you what is your boy? Hey, what you been up to? Same old shit, man. Huh? Working for the city? Yeah. Been thinking about getting back to school and get back to JC. Maybe. That's what the girl thought, right? <laughs> but on the other hand, man, just the same keep working. Make a little money, rather right? than spend my time on some some bitch shit. You don't know what the hell he's talking about anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Besides, you've changed your fact. Really? Really, really. Say, you're a freshman, right? Yeah. Besides, so you're a freshman crop of chicks. <laughs> Hey, what is the boy? You know, in the jail, talking that kind of shit. That's what I love about high school girls, man. I keep getting older, but they stay the same age. <laughs> okay. My name's Anthony Rapp. See, what's fascinating is, is the way not only the, the school, but the entire community sort of supports all this kind of behavior, or, or at least turns their head. I mean, you know, it seems like, the, the, you know, they, they have permission to use the school ground, and, and the parents don't seem to mind. Right, and the way the, the biggest thing is the way the freshmen are made to even feel privileged to be, like, you know, receiving this humiliation. I know. It, it's kind of like, like training for the adult world. But I, th I, think, I think it's because we don't have a rival high school within 30 miles of us. I mean, you know, most, most schools have, have like that, 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 that evil other that, that, that right. they would, you know, to which they can project all hostility and blame. Right. So in our case, it's kind of like, uh, you know, we're feeding off our own. Exactly. You know, it's like we've declared war on ourselves. Exactly. You know, under the guise of an initiation ritual. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, we, we were just talking about, you know, how, how stupid this initiation ritual is, and, 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 and why on earth would you be involved in the, in, the, in, the, in the losing end of it all? So what's going on over here? Social hour? I'm supposed to be a bitch right now. Be back to the pit, kid. Hmm. Am I mistaken, or was there a little uh, unspoken thing going on there between you and that uh, young thing? You stud. You know how it is. Actually, I bet, I bet she's pretty cute. Why don't you like, clean that shit off? Man. You know what? It's finally happening, you know? Like, we're seniors, you know? That's just the first of many. There's gonna be millions of them just lining up because, you know, that. We're seniors now. Well, I guess you know, it's... Virtue of our age alone. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's some kind of compensation for all those years of neglect. I mean, you know, you have to admit, I mean, given all our other accomplishments, we don't have a a lot to show in the female category. Yeah. And it's pretty tough, though, you know, when you never even want to go out. I mean, when you don't want to put yourself in a position of maybe something happening, it doesn't, right? So, I mean, maybe if we ever left the poker table, you know, you just might, ex you know, experience something a little more, you know, exciting than Abraham Lincoln Dream or something. You think I your Abraham Lincoln Dream right here. <laughs> 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 Marissa Ravisi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Fairly uneventful, huh? What, wait, which one of you came up with the theory that um, President Ford's old football injuries were affecting the economy? Hey, do you know Ford was on the Warren Commission? Who cares? He's elevated his They need me a brewski. Well, you know what? My next door neighbor has a refrigerator full of beers, and his garage door is always open. Hmm. I've always wanted to steal some, but I don't know. I've just never really been much of a beer drinker. I guess it's a taste. Call me weird. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> well, the true Dionysian would steal the beer, drink it as quickly as possible, and... Wrap his car around a telephone pole? Exactly. <laughs> That's what everyone in this car needs, some good old worthwhile visual experience. Like what? Well, you name it. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm going to 
get drunk, get stoned, you know, get laid, or you know, get in a fight. Seriously, you have to be up for anything. I know, but don't you, you know, don't you ever feel like everything we've been taught and everything we do is, I don't know, just the service to service our future selves? Yeah, it's like everything is, it's always preparation. You know? Right, you know, and what are we preparing ourselves for? Dad. Oh. Well, there's life of the party. But that's valid, you know. If, if we're all going to die anyway, shouldn't we in, be enjoying ourselves now? You know, I, I'd like to quit thinking of the present like some, I don't know, minor, insignificant preamble to something else. So how about that beer then, huh? Okay, let's go to your neighbor's place. <laughs> Okie doke. All right. <clears throat> My name is Wiley Wiggins. May 28th. Can't even think of a place to start talking about all the shit that's happened to me today. <sighs> okay, I won the last game of the year for the team, even with the seniors waiting to bust me afterwards. I swear I must have taken a worse beating than any other freshman in the year. Well, I don't know about Carl, but I figured it'd be worth it, and it was. I took it, and the next thing I know, this dude Pink offered me after to take me out with his friends. Uh, I think his real name's Randy. Anyway, the whole night went pretty smooth, except even though I bumped into, like, Jody twice. But I wouldn't have nearly had as bad a besting if it weren't for her. What else? Oh, yeah, I took a drag off a joint for the first time. It wasn't too great. Didn't seem much different from a cigarette, except for the smell and the fact I got a hell of a head rush. Well, I can't really talk because the seniors sucked most of the thing down before I got any. It was cool as hell to hang out with them anyway. Uh, I met a girl named Julie. I think she likes me, even though I'm pretty sure she's a lot older. Well, oh God, I hope she's not friends with Jody. <laughs> well, great. Great. <clears throat> I had another one in the locker. So what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same question. <laughs> hey, I heard they got you. Mm, yeah, it's no big deal. I took it. <laughs> hey, they, but they just got Adam, too. Really? Oh, fuck, was it O'Banion? Yes. Oh, shit, how bad? Bad, <laughs> real bad. <laughs> oh. So what have you guys been doing? Oh, just running around mostly, I mean. You know, I didn't realize that Jody was, you and Jody were brother and sister. I just found that out. We were riding around. Yes, Jody's my sister. Hey, you guys uh, talking uh, about me over here? Mm. So I heard they got you. Uh, yeah, they did. I can't believe it. I asked them to take it easy on you. No wonder. Come on, Sabrina. <laughs> okay.